What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and today we're going to look at the Marius Smart Air and I'm going to show you how to actually set the computer up. As always, anytime you get a new computer, go ahead and have the dive shop that you purchased it from to replace the battery because you never know how long that computer has been at the shop or how long it's actually set at the warehouse before the shop made the order. So I would go ahead and replace the battery anytime you get a brand new computer. And even if that battery is good, at least you're going to have a spare battery as well. Now most of the time the computers will come in the sleep mode, so all you've got to do is actually turn it on simply by hitting one of the buttons. The Mario Smart Air actually has two buttons, an upper and a lower. Um, it's going to be a little bit different than the standard Smart, as in the uh, light feature here. On the standard Smart computer, the bottom button, if you was to hold it, your backlight would actually come on. On the Smart Air, uh, Mario has changed to the upper button. So if you're trying to get the backlight to come on, you can't ever get it to come on. It's because on the Smart Air, it's the upper button not the lower button. So that's one of the major differences outside of the fact that this one is an air integrated computer. That's the difference between the Smart Air and the Smart. But to get it to come on, we're just going to simply hit one of the buttons and you'll see it'll automatically come up to this screen here. Now on the main screen here, you're going to have uh, three different screens within the, the main screen. The bottom button, if you was to hit it, is actually going to toggle the bottom part of the screen to different uh, things, such as this This is a secondary time here, so if maybe if you're traveling out of a different time zone, you can use that as well. If you want to switch on over as well, you can do temperature, you can do degrees, things like that. You can even have your alarm show what time you've got it set. It also has an indicator to let you know the alarm is on. Uh, you can go to where it shows the date. Um, and the day. So here it's saying Wednesday here and it's got the date there. Um, and I'm going to show you how to set all that up as well. And then you can hit it once again. Now you'll notice that on this screen, the second counter is going all the way around. All right. As you scroll through, if you go to say that screen there where it shows the date at the bottom of the day on top, then of course it's going to show your second counter there on the side of it as well. Now if we look at the top button now, this is what's actually going to scroll through the different menus. So if I hit it one time, it's automatically going to go into the chronograph or what some people call a stopwatch. And to select an item, all you got to do is just press and hold for about two seconds and it'll automatically come up. And when you come up on the stopwatch, it will actually show the time at the bottom and then you'll have your stopwatch here as well. And it is a split stopwatch so you can start and stop and record split time as well. But to start and stop it, you just very simply hit the top button that'll start it hit it again that'll stop it and then of course you can hit the bottom button it'll reset it to do a split time you just hit the bottom button throughout the timing phase all right um, moving on to get out you're going to press and hold that bottom button and it's going to take you back to the start screen so it's very easy to do so think of this as your exit button as well the bottom one Moving on from the stopwatch feature, we can go into pre-dive mode. Now, pre-dive mode is a, a neat little feature because if you put your computer into pre-dive mode, it's going to start recording data the second it gets wet. So as soon as you go into water, it's going to start recording data. If you don't put it into pre-dive mode, it's still going to record the data, but it's going to have to reach a depth of about four feet before it will actually start reading that that data from the dive. So pre-dive if you want it to record the second you go under or you can just leave it in standard watch mode and it'll kick in around that four foot mark. So that's what the pre-dive feature is. Um, if we go into mode, we're just going to press and hold the top button here. And this is where we're going to change between air, uh, nitrox or enriched air. And then of course it does have a bottom time as well. This one also has a free dive or an apnea version built into the computer. So you're going to get four different modes with this. Air, nitrox, bottom timer, and of course apnea. Apnea is for your free diving. Bottom, bottom time is maybe you're not wanting to actually record a dive. Maybe you're diving in a pool or maybe you're just doing a very, very short dive and for some reason you don't want it logged that's what the bottom timer feature is um, and it doesn't record any decompression information so maybe if you're letting somebody try out your computer um, you can put it in bottom time mode they can use it and then when they give it back to you you can actually take it for a dive and it doesn't have their decompression information in there so that's the mode feature. If we go to set, you just simply press and hold the top button again, and you're gonna have two options. You're gonna have set dive. You're also gonna have set time. All right, so we're gonna do the dive first, so just press and hold. And we're gonna have that light feature again. This is gonna be the intensity of light or how long it stays on. I like to set up mine on 10. Now, one thing about setting it on 10, it does take your battery down a lot faster than normal, but I like to be able to see it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put mine on 10. 
And then we can go into the P factor. Once again, this is your algorithm. If you want a more conservative algorithm versus a more liberal alg algorithm, you can actually change that as well. You can go to altitude mode, simply turn your altitude on, whatever altitude you're going to be at. Maybe you're diving into mountains or something like that. And of course, you can change between salt water and fresh water. Now, since we do a lot of fresh water diving around here, I'm actually going to change this one over to fresh water. So I simply press and hold to enter that menu or to enter that uh, selection there. And then I'll scroll up to fresh, and then I'll press and hold again, and that'll lock it in. And then I can scroll over to the next one. This is gas integration here. I can just press and hold it, it'll enter. It will pair it to the same transmitter that the quad air takes as well, and the new Genius air. So it's pretty neat that they all use the same transmitter. And you can set this up to read multiple transmitters if you've got multiple gas uh, mixtures that you're using. You can change from units if you want imperial or metric. We're gonna go ahead and change this one over to imperial. So I'm just gonna press and hold till it starts to flash. And then I'll simply switch it over to the imperial uh, measurements and then lock it into place. And so now I've went from Celsius to Fahrenheit and I've went from meters to feet. It's real easy to do. And now we're getting into all the alarms. I can set it on a fast alarm, a deep alarm. You can set it depth ratings, all that. Um, you know, it's whatever you want to set it on as well. Let's see, and then we got our race code here. The race code, once again, is uh, maybe we're using this for students and we're letting them try it out and they do want to record their dives. We can go in and actually erase that data so the next student can use it as well during a checkout dive scenario. That way it records it, they can log the information, and then we can erase the decompression system out of it or the decompression memory out of it, and then we can let another student use it as well. So it's very easy to do. And then we get back into there. So now we're going to back out. That was the set dive feature. Now we're going to go into the set time feature. Just simply press and hold as normal. You can go between 12 or 24 hour time. Now in the previous video, we did a uh, 24 hour time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a 12 hour time. So you just press and hold till it starts blinking. And then you're, of course, going to change it over to AM, PM, which is a 12 hour time frame. And then you're going to lock it into place. And now we can actually go in and change um, dates and stuff like that as well. So if I click on it here, it's going to ask me what time it is. It's currently 8.56 uh, Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to go to 8 right there. And But I notice it says PM below the 8. So I need to keep on going to the next date till it says AM. So I'm going to scroll through there, switch over to AM. And I'm going to go to 8. And we're going to actually leave it at 57 just because it took me a minute to do it. Uh, day, today is, of course, January 2nd, so we're going to leave that there. <clears throat> the month, of course, is January, so we're going to leave that there as well. And then, of course, the bottom there is the uh, year 2019, so all that is set. It's very easy to do. Now we're going to go over to the wake up feature. This is um, if you're wanting to set an alarm for you, uh, you can actually turn it on and off. It's currently set for 11.20 a.m. Now this is a brand new computer, so I'm not actually going to set an alarm on it, uh, but you can set an alarm. Like I've got mine set for around the 4.30 mark. I get up 4.30 every morning, so I've got a 4.30 alarm on mine, so it's pretty neat as well. And then we can actually set a secondary time too. I know a lot of times when I, I do a lot of dive travel, if I go into a different time zone, I will set a separate uh, time for time number two. And then when I get there, I just swap between time one and time two. And I don't have to sit there and reset my watch all the time. So that's another neat feature. And then you can actually uh, put it in a go to sleep mode. So if you don't wear your dive computer every day as a wristwatch, uh, you will run the battery down fairly quickly. Um, and to prevent that from actually happening, you can actually put it in go to sleep. So if you're not gonna be diving for say a week or two, or maybe even a month or so, put your watch or your dive computer in go to sleep mode and you won't actually be wasting any, any battery life like that. And of course, we're back out into the set time. So I'm just gonna back out of that as well. We'll go over to the next screen as well. And now we go into the log feature. Once again, to get in the log, you just press and hold. Now this computer is brand new, so the only log that's actually in it is the one from the factory where they do the test dive. So that's all you're gonna see there. But you can actually scroll through different dives, whether it's a um, actual scuba dive or if you had it in apnea mode, it will show that as well. So the next, of course, is plan mode. And of course, you can go in and you can plan dives, whether you're on nitrox or air, whether it's your first dive, second dive, or whatnot, all that information is gonna be in there and you can actually scroll through and see what depth and how long you can stay for your next dive. 
So we'll back out of that. And of course, we'll go into PC mode. This is the mode that you want to be in. Uh, if you're trying to download your dives, maybe you're using the Blue Link system to download your dives uh, through Bluetooth or whatnot for your SSI app, or maybe you're going hardwired straight to your computer. You want to make sure that you're in PC mode as well. And simply all you got to do is just press and hold. It'll say PC ready, and that lets you know it's ready to be downloaded. And of course we get into info mode again. I'm gonna press the top button and hold. This is gonna give you the info. It's gonna show that your battery level over, over here is okay. And it's also gonna read the serial number off. And it's also gonna tell you when this computer itself was actually um, designed or when the information in this computer was actually put in. So that's pretty neat as well. Back and back out. We should come back to our main home screen. You'll see that this one's currently set up in 12-hour uh, time versus 24-hour time. It's saying that it's 8.59 a.m. We're around 54 seconds. Of course, it's January 2nd, 19, and uh, today is Wednesday. Now, one thing to make note, if I would have set this in 24-hour time versus 12-hour time, um, the date would actually be international dating, so it would actually say 2-1 of 19. It would show the day first, then it would show the month, and then it would show the year. When you're in 12 hour time, it does standard dating, which is, of course, month first, day second, and then, of course, um, your year for the last number as well. Just as a quick comparison here, I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen. I have mine set up for international dating, so you'll see it actually says 2119 here at the bottom, to where this one says 1219. So if you set it up in the military time or the 24 hour time, just be aware that it will show that date in international dating versus standard dating. But, guys, that's the Smart Air. Um, integrated dive computer here. If you've ever wondered how to set it up, it's very simple. It is a two button computer. This is actually going to scroll through the menus, select a menu, and then confirm a menu. This is nothing more than a back button and an exit button. So if you go too far, you can back up with it or you can press and hold and it'll actually exit out. Now the biggest difference between the Smart Air and the Smart, with the exception of course of the air integration, is they move the backlight feature from the lower button to the upper button you just simply press and hold the lower button or the upper button and your backlight will actually come on so guys if you got any questions on this please put it down in the comment section below if you like this style of video you want to see more dive computers in the future please let me know simply smash that like button and definitely share the video as well but guys as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.